In the early hours of the 11th of July, Israeli police forcibly displaced and removed another Palestinian family from their home of 70 years. Nora Subliban, who was born in her home in the old city of Jerusalem, and her family has fought for decades against illegal Israeli settler groups, seeking to forcibly displace, displace her and steal her home. Forcible transfer constitutes a war crime, according to the UN. I've had the pleasure of meeting Nora and her family on several occasions over the past seven years with delegations of British parliamentarians. We've sat down with her and other family members and heard her struggle. We've seen the malice and cruelty of the settlers who today have succeeded in stealing her home. I remember back in 2016, Nora showing us the attempts to drill through the walls into the bedroom of her grandchildren, holes covered up with plaster next to teddy bears, toy cars and children's beds, hiding and masking the settler incursion in the middle of the night to gain access to the home. And again, this was 2016. Today, we see the footage of Nora kicked out of her home, a site which the international community and especially the UK government can't feign ignorance about. One MP raised Nora's stories of, story of Prime Minister's questions, prompting then Prime Minister David Cameron to condemn Israeli actions in occupied East Jerusalem. Acts of ethnic cleansing are happening across illegally occupied Palestinian territory. Nora's story is part of a dehumanising settler war against Palestinians and is another name in a long list of families and communities being targeted. Whether this is in Jerusalem's old city, other Jerusalem neighbourhoods like Sheikh Jarrah or Sulwan, Khan al Ahmar and other areas of the Jordan Valley, or Masafa Yatta and other communities in the South Hebron Hills. The Nakba or catastrophe is 75 years old, but it hasn't let up any of its brutality, it's ongoing. Decades of intimidation, harassment from Israeli settlers and Israeli occupation forces faced by the likes of Nora are continued to be met with international action. The major powers fail to call for accountability for the Israeli occupation forces and settlers who act with impunity are ever more emboldened and brazen in their crimes and abuses. Settler violence and pogroms continue with excessive violence, safe in the knowledge that will never be held accountable. Settler violence is sanctioned, enabled and encouraged by the Israeli state. On 6th of July this year, the Israeli police officer who killed 32-year-old autistic Palestinian Iyad al-Halak, who was shot seven times on his way to a disability centre in 2020, was let off. Accountability for Palestinians is like a unicorn. Palestinians living under brutal military occupation, apartheid and settler colonialism deserve much better. So please contact your elected representatives, your members of parliament, the foreign secretary, and demand justice and accountability for Nora and her family and countless other Palestinians. Thank you very much.